In this video, I'm going to compare Notion versus Asana. So which one is better for your situation? Before I start, I want to tell that there's no uh, wrong answer. There's no like, this is the best. I would choose Asana over Notion because it's way better. I'm also not getting paid, neither Asana or Notion pays me. This is just my honest opinion about Asana and Notion. So first I'm going to show you how they work, um, the main differences and similarities. Then I hop over to the features and then the pricing of both platforms. So let's start with Asana. So Asana is a great platform. So when I go to this marketing project plan, as you can see, this is a board. I can easily add people to it and it's very easy to understand, especially if you have a small team or a small business that you work with multiple people. However, for personal use, for your personal task that you want to do for task management, I won't recommend this because it's a bit too complex and complicated, uh, too much options for just one person. But I'm, I can show you the advantages you have if you're working in a team. So this is a template here. I have a, uh, here I can show you what I have in this template. Here's the planning. This is instructions for using this project. Assignee is myself, so you can assign anyone who is on your team. The date, you can add a due date, so we can say Wednesday. Approval stage, uh, ready for review by the boss or the owner of this team. So you can, you can see all of these options. It's really great. And Asana is really complex for if you have a business. So this is the main advantage. It's super easy, but also complex that you have a lot of features. So we can go to the homepage. You can add multiple projects. So let's create one. We can create a blank project, project name. So um, Google Ads, marketing, public to team or pu private to project management. Then the default view, I recommend you to use lists if you want to go for Asana, then create the project. And there we go, we just created it. Now we can go to share and we can share this with a link to our members or just to their account. So this is very easy to use. However, when we go to Notion, as you can see straight away, it's very similar to Asana, but there are some differences. Notion is very complicated. Even for me, um, yeah, I'm not really tech savvy, but I know how it works. And even for me, it was very, very frustrating and really hard to understand everything. Once you understand it, it is easy to use, a lot of features and it's great software. Uh, but if you're just starting out, you want to start immediately with your team, no hard things, then I won't recommend Notion. So here I have a private board of Notion, ID, progress, in review, published. We can add one. So for example, make a YouTube video just like that. Um, then we can, again, same as Asana, we can assign this to people or edit property like this. So this is very similar to Asana, but all these options here, it's like very overwhelming. It can be very overwhelming to people. And that's a shame uh, for Notion. Asana doesn't really have this. You do have an easy to use taskbar here. Same as Notion, but this is complicated. I mean, workspace, brand assets, what is this? I mean, this is much easier. If if I would choose between one of them for the efficiency, I would definitely go for Asana. Okay, now let's go to the features that they both have. So here you can see for a free plan, a basic plan, it's not limited at all on Asana. It's for free and you get a lot. Unlimited tasks, unlimited projects, uh, etc., etc., and this is nice. Unlimited file storage, 100 megabytes per file, which is a lot. The only downside to this is you can only collaborate with up to 15 teammates. So if you want to go for free, you don't want to pay anything. You can't use more than 15 people, uh, 15 persons in your team. So that's a shame. Then you have to go to the premium plan, which is $11 a month. It's not bad, but it's not worth it, I think. The premium plan of Asana, you have to pay $11 instead of zero, and you don't really get much more than the free version. So if you just want to start out with an easy to use project management tool with a small business or a small team, 100% go for Asana. It's a great 
software. So now when we go to Notion, you can see there are two main uh, things that you can choose. So one tool for your whole team, free for personal use. So for individual use, you can see the personal one, zero dollars. Here are some of the um, features down here as well. File uploads only five megabits, as you can see. And as I said, in Asana for free, it's 100 megabits. So this is way better over here. Um, the members also just you, you can't add any members, then you have to pay. So if you want to go, if you have a big business with a lot of people and you do want to choose Notion, you already have to pay per member per month. So it's not only that your business has to pay, but the members of your team have to pay it as well. So that's, that could be a shame. Um, Asana is much better in, in that category. It's completely for free for everyone. You do have an enterprise option here, which obviously you probably won't use. We can go into some more features of the team and business uh, plan. So it's unlimited members, just you, but here unlimited, guests unlimited, file upload unlimited, which is nice. Same for Asana if you pay. Collaboration, well, this is actually quite the same as Asana, but Asana is just more, uh, it's just easier to understand. And the payment methods on Asana, there is a, is a FAQ. Uh, what form of payments do you accept? Um, they use bank transfer, check, um, credit card, and Notion only accepts a credit card, which is also a shame. Um, yeah, so when we go back to Notion, you can see I go into to this board, I can drag it into progress, drag it into review, uh, same with Asana if you work, want to work that way. Let's go to this one. We can just drag and drop it here. We can assign that it's done and then it will be uh, shown as done. So yeah, these are the main differences. And now to the advice. My advice, whatever you're using is Asana. I just like it more. It's my personal preference. I'm using, I'm using I don't use it uh, myself. I'm using a different software, but yeah. That doesn't really matter. Um, the pricing, also Asana is cheaper. It's zero dollars for a lot of things. Notion, you do have to pay for maybe a little bit more, but I definitely recommend you to use Asana. If you do really want to use Notion for personal use, then go for the free plan. And if you want some more, go for the personal pro plan. If you want it for a team, then it costs $8 a month per member from your team. So that's not really nice. So this, if this video helped you out, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. And yeah, see you next time. Have a good day.